Hello and welcome to my cooking video on how to make catfish soup. Ingredients you will need include vegetable stock, one cup of pork belly, one cup of red potatoes, a handful of green onions, one jalapeno, one optional bell pepper, and two cubed tomatoes. In addition, you will also need three whole catfish or six catfish fillets. I will be using this catfish to demonstrate on how to properly prepare one catfish. Always ensure you have a sharp knife and you will start the head. As you can see, I managed to hit a vertebrae and got on the struggle bus really early. But this is my one shot, so we're going to muscle through it. Ooh, that was gory. Alright, sorry you had to see that. Next, we will switch onto the tail. You'll notice I'm using newspaper and plastic wrap for all of my fish scraps. The newspaper helps absorb any excess moisture. And the plastic wrap will allow for a good seal when I wrap it all up to throw away. Once both ends of the fish have been removed, it is now time to remove the skin. The trick to removing the skin is to run the knife just below the skin and just above the meat. This will preserve as much meat as possible, and I highly recommend using a proper fillet knife. As you can see, a fillet knife is great for running along the space between the meat and the skin and it makes me look like I almost know what I'm doing. It's easiest to take off the skin in large chunks. That makes it easiest and you don't have to worry about trying to get each little piece individually. Once the skin has been removed, it is now time to get our fillets. To properly fillet the fish, we will take the knife and run it against the bones between the bone and the fish. This will get as much meat as possible for our fillets and ensure that no bones make it in. Look at that. Perfect. Now, ignoring my less than perfect fillet, we will get rid of our scraps and begin cubing our catfish. We'll begin by running parallel with the spine of the fish on all of our fillets, holding it firmly to the cutting board because, yes, it is slippery, and then running perpendicular in a grid pattern. This will give us one inch cubes, and once we have all of our cubes for all six fillets, we'll place them into a bowl and save them for later. This will be our last ingredient for the soup. Speaking of the soup, we will have a medium heat pot and place our pork and our green onions into the pot. We will saute these together until the onions have turned translucent and the pork has browned. Remember to stir consistently to prevent anything from sticking to the bottom of the pan and prevent burning on the onions. Once our pork is browned and our onions are translucent, we'll add our potatoes. And we'll stir these potatoes and saute them all together until the potatoes just begin to soften. Once those potatoes have softened, we'll add all of our other ingredients, including the pepper, my in-focused shoulder, and back of the pot, there we go our tomatoes, and our heaping tablespoon of seasoning. Once that seasoning is in the pot, we will stir all of that together and get everything evenly coated in that seasoning. And once that is taken care of, we'll then salt to taste. I don't like my soup to be overly salty. So I just do an even coating on the surface.
The salt is also great because it will remove some moisture and add some flavoring to our seasoning. Next, we will add our optional bell peppers and we will stir these in and we will continue to saute this until the peppers have started to soften. Once everything has softened together, we will now add our vegetable broth. You can make your own, but I purchased mine. You will use about one and a half of these cartons. We will fill just to cover all of our ingredients. This is a very thick, almost stew-like soup. You can choose to add more broth if you would like, but remember the more broth you add, the more diluted that seasoning will become. So if you want a stronger flavoring soup, then you will want to use less broth. Once that broth has been added, we will walk away and let this stew for about 30 minutes. Once this has stewed for about half an hour, we will give this one last stir, make sure nothing is stuck on the bottom of our pot, and we will add our catfish. We will allow this catfish to stew with the rest of our soup until it begins to flake. Make sure it is nice and flaky before you serve. This will prevent any rubbery fish and ensure that all seasoning gets soaked into that meat. This will take roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Once stewing is complete, it is now time to serve up your soup. Thank you for watching.